بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم اینڈ ویلکم ٹو ورک اسٹڈی اینڈ میتھڈس انجینئرنگ وی آر آن ماڈیول ٹو دیٹ از میتھڈ اسٹڈی اور آپریشنز اینالیسز ان پریویس سیشنز وی ڈسکسڈ اے نمبر آف ٹولس اے نمبر آف چارٹس اینڈ ڈائگرامس ٹو کلیکٹ انفارمیشن ریلیٹڈ ٹو اے پروسیس اینڈ دین وی اینڈڈ اپ دیٹ ڈسکشن ود اے سیشن آن ویلیو اسٹریم میپنگ نو ونس وی ہیو کلیکٹڈ دا انفارمیشن ریلیٹڈ ٹو اے پروسیس or system as a whole, the next step is to examine or analyze the information that we have collected. And based on that analysis, we improve the process or we develop an entirely new process. So by the end of this lecture, you should be able to understand the importance and procedure of critical examination while improving a process. Use primary and secondary questions in critical examination and understand the difficulty of developing a better process with the help of some examples. First, we will discuss critical examination. And here we will discuss general procedure or general questioning technique. And in the next session, uh, in the next lecture, actually, we will discuss uh, a Thurblick's analysis that is used to analyze a process that is highly repetitive. And then we will discuss principles of motion economy that is a uh, set of principles, actually, that is used to Uh, reduce the waste of motion and to improve the activities at a workstation. One thing that you should keep in mind is that critical examination is not actually a separate activity. We are actually examining the process uh, when we are collecting information related to the process. So once we are drawing a flow process chart or VSM or we are using some other data collection tool, we are actually not uh, getting information only, but we are also thinking or questioning uh, in the background what, uh, what is happening and why it is happening and uh, why it is not being done in some other way, some, some better way. But, but for the sake of illustration, we are discussing this step uh, separately. So this is the most important phase of method study or process analysis. Each element of work as presently being done and recorded on the chart is subjected to a systematic and progressive series of questions. So there were different elements of work. There was operation, there was transportation, there was delay, there was storage, there was inspection. So each one of them uh, is, is critically analyzed. The purpose is to determine true reasons for which it is done. So based on the reason, the improvements are found and adopted into a new method called a better or proposed method. So this step, critical analysis, requires exhaustive collaboration with everyone whose contribution can prove useful. So this is not a solo flight. Someone can't do it in isolation, but all people involved in that process should be uh, um, included in the discussion and analysis so that a comprehensive uh, uh, analysis can take place and we can move towards a process that is uh, improved as well as that is robust. So the use of questioning technique reduces the possibility of missing any information which may be useful for the development of better method. So it's better not to skip the questions that we will uh, discuss Uh, they, they seem very simple, but if we skip uh, any of those questions, we may skip some important aspect of, of the process. So it is very important that we move in a systematic way and don't make decisions in a hurry. So a popular procedure of carrying out critical examination uses two sets of questions. So we have primary questions. Answers to these show up the necessity of carrying out the activity. And then we have secondary questions. Answer to these questions allow considerations for alternate methods of doing the activity. So selection of the best way of doing each activity is later determined to develop new method, which is introduced as a standard practice. First, we have primary questions. So these are the questions of why, how, where, when, and who. But in primary questions, we we actually 
question the existence of a task or activity. So first we question the purpose. So the need of carrying out the activity is challenged by the question. So what is achieved by this activity or this task? Is it necessary to be carried out? So why this task or activity or process is uh, being carried out? So the answer to these questions determine whether the particular activity will be included in the proposals of new method for the process. Then we question the means. The means of carrying out the activity are challenged by the questions. How is it done and why it is done in a specific way? Then we question the place. The location of carrying out the activity is challenged by the question where it is done, in which department, for example, in which part of the organization and why it is done there. So that is important question as well. Then we, uh, we, we question the sequence, the time of carrying out the activities challenged by the question, when it is done, which activities are done before it and which activities are done after it and why this specific sequence is being followed. And finally, the person, the level of skill and experience of the person performing the activities challenged by the question, who does it and why that person? And is he or she the best person to perform this activity or he or she has the skills and experience or not? Now, the why is the most important question. It is first asked for overall process, overall activity, and then in combination with other four questions. So why this activity is being performed, that is the primary question. And then we ask why uh, it is done in a certain way or by a, by a certain person or why it is done at a certain place or why it is done in a certain sequence. So once we were collecting information, actually, we, we were actually asking questions. And uh, after uh, making the chart or completion of the data collection process, we can critically analyze what, uh, what data we have collected. So this is the example of flow process chart that we saw. So here we can question many things. For example, this is the summary at the top of this chart. So there are nine operations, eight transportation, 10 delays, one inspection and two storage is taking place. So there is a lot of delay in this process. So we can question why there is so much delay taking place or there is storage uh, taking place twice. So why, why, why it is, uh, I mean, uh, the storage is taking place twice. Can we uh, avoid each of these delays or storages or can we reduce the time? Because a delay and storage are both the examples of waiting. So we can question them. Another thing is transportation. So we have in this case mentioned the distance that is being moved by the part. So uh, we can critically analyze this distance. So can we improve the layout, for example, to reduce this distance uh, uh, so that overall flow time is reduced? And same, you can actually ask about the time. So first delay is taking uh, two minutes, for example, the second delay is taking three minutes. This delay is taking five minutes. So you can actually sum up this time and find the total time of delay or waiting. And of course, we can think of ways of reducing this time or distance, or we can actually ideally eliminate uh, uh, the delay or, or the wait that is there. Uh, we can get similar information from this flow process chart as well. So in this case, again, uh, there is a lot of delay five times and uh, we do not actually have the time in this case for delay, but the reason for the delay is written in the remarks column. So we can critically analyze, or maybe we, 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 we use some other tool, maybe fishbone diagram, to find the root causes of these delays if it is required. There is a lot of transportation taking place as well. So again, can we reduce the distance that is uh, that this part is traveling? Because there is actually a lot of distance uh, 
and traveled by this part. So by improving the layout or by improving the flow, can we reduce the distance? So we can ask similar questions in this case as well. This is the SIMO chart that we saw for, for a certain activity. So in this case, one obvious problem that we saw was that left hand was acting as a fixture. So uh, it was sort of uh, holding, it was idle, it was not performing any value adding activity. So can we have some fixture or some device uh, in place so that we can use both hands for value adding activities or, or operation? So that is one of the principle of motion economy as well, that both hands should be performing value adding activities. They should not be idle or they should not be holding the workpiece. There is some weight as well. So we can uh, have a look at these weight or hold activities, or we can actually analyze the layout of the workstation as well and see if you can improve it. And we saw the VSM in the previous session. So one obvious question that we asked was a lot of work in process inventory between the processes. So there was uh, a lot of weight, of course, of the work in process. Uh, of inventory and there was a lot of Mura obviously as well because um, the work in process was varying a lot between processes as well as there was a lot of difference of cycle time as well. So the system was not balanced at all. So we can of course uh, critically analyze this current VSM and move towards uh, future state VSM using different, to, uh, different tools of, of lean manufacturing. So the basic point I wanted to make here was that each chart or each diagram does provide us some useful information and we can uh, brainstorm that, we can use some other tools to get insight from that information and move towards improving our system. These are just examples of few of the charts but of course, all charts and diagrams do provide us some, some critical information related to the process that we can use for its improvement. Then we ask some scanty questions. So here we are basically focusing on suitable alternatives. So the questions basically are the same. I mean, we are again asking questions related to the, to the purpose, related to the means, related to the place, sequence, and the person. But uh, we here are looking for, for the alternates. So with respect to purpose, we asked the question, is the activity necessary? If the answer to this question was yes, then we can ask what else can we do in replacement of this activity if, if there is a simpler step and easier task that can replace this task or activity. Then we question the means. So how else could this be done? Then we question the place. Is there a better place uh, in the department or in the organization where this could be done? We question the sequence. So can the precedence be changed? So sequence of activities sometimes is not best. So, so this is also asked, what else, uh, when else could it be? And done. And finally, the person, if we have a better qualified or skilled person to perform that activity, then we can look for that person as well. So one of the tools actually that does directly provide us with the alternate uh, options is FMEA. We saw this example of uh, FMEA for cash withdrawal from an ATM. So we had some process steps actually uh, that actually uh, were performed and the potential failure mode uh, that could uh, uh, actually cause problem for these steps. These steps couldn't be performed properly. And for each of the failure mode, we discussed the severity, probability of occurrence and probability of detection and RPN. So in this case, cash not dispersed was one of the failure mode for, for the step of uh, uh, dispensing the cash. So it had the highest RPN and we, we proposed one possible solution 
that was to increase minimum cash threshold limit of heavily used ATMs to prevent out of cash instances. And we could actually recommend uh, actions for other potential failure modes as well. So we can use this information to, to discuss the alternates uh, to uh, different steps or to reduce the probability of different potential, potential failure modes and eventually improve the process or decrease the chances of its failure. So sometimes we have more than one options available. Uh, we can have more than one alternates available to a process. So we have to consider economic, safety, work quality, and human factors uh, to, to decide between the alternates. So we will discuss one example in the uh, one of the following sessions to see uh, how actually we progressively move from uh, better to even better solutions and uh, how different factors actually are considered in selecting among the alternates. So as a list, you can have these four factors, economic safety, quality, and human factors. This is a summary of the questions that we discussed. So we asked questions related to present facts, related to the purpose, means, place, sequence, and person. <clears throat> and then we asked same questions, but for alternates. And then we might have a list of alternates. So we can brainstorm to select among those alternates. But the basic takeaway here is that we should not underestimate this questioning technique and use it systematically in the sequence, starting with the purpose and then moving towards mean, play, sequence, and the person. And secondly, all relevant stakeholders should be involved in this critical analysis. Thank you very much.